Hello everyone. So in previous video we have seen about uh, how are how we can uh, perform different functionalities in list by using different methods. In today's video what we are going to see is that uh, how we can run loops inside list and uh, how can we access the data if there are multiple lists inside a single list. So uh, let's get started with this video. So I have uh, taken an example here of from the previous video. I have a list name phi in which it consists of these multiple values. I want to run a loop. So let's see how first of all let's see how file while loop uh, learns uh, while loop uh, gets uh, operated in list. So for while loop you already know we just we always need a counter in the starting right so initializer we say also say them so let's say my counter or initializer is i equals to zero now i'll use this uh, i what i want to do is with the help of this while loop i am going to print all my elements inside a list so 0 0.2 0 0.3 then 0 0.25 then 0 0.4 like that okay so this is my uh, counter this is my initializer what i have done now is I will use this i as an index as I have also done that in previous cases. So this time now when I run while i so first of all uh, do one thing uh, I'll create another code cell here. Let's just check the length of this list length of my list. So if I if I check this length it gives me nine it means there are nine values there. So as I've already told you that so the maximum index will be. Uh, length minus one right because length is starting from one one two three four five six seven eight nine so there are nine elements but my index positioning starts from zero so my maximum index will be eight so now i have i equals to zero i have created now i'll start the while loop while my this i or index is less than length of phi what it basically what this line means is that what i'm saying is the python 2 when my index that i my index i is less than what is the length of phi 9 right what it does is sorry so if this condition is true what what to do then what i'll do is print what I want to print each element of uh, file list, right? So print phi and index this way it will access the index and afterwards I'll increase the i to every time i to i plus one. So uh, let's see if I run this code what is what I'm getting. So see I'm getting the desired results. It is printing me each and every element 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.25 in a same order. Now i is less than length of phi means as soon as i becomes 9 it will stop it will not execute anything inside this while loop right so what is now let's say i is equals to 0 for initializers now this this conditions becomes true because 0 is less than 9 right so it will print me phi 0 this this means phi 0 means it will print me the zeroth index of list phi that is 0 0.2 which is getting printed afterwards now after once it has printed it will go to this step now in this scenario i becomes 1 because 0 plus 1 1 then it will go again to while loop again check the situation again uh, check this condition this condition is true so uh, 1 is less than 9 so it will print me now this time what it will print phi and index 1 so the first index of phi is that is 0.3 so it will print me 0.3 similarly it will go uh, till index becomes 8 as soon as 9 i becomes 9 uh, this will condition is not true because i haven't included the equal to sign here so this is how a while loop works in list now let's see how to do how to get same output using for loops inside list so in for loops we don't need any initializer because we just simply write for i in I will write the list name here what I want to do is just I will print i simple it will print me the desired values. So what is happening here uh, for a convenience so that you can see the list at the same time I will just copy this list here again. So now what happening is for i in phi as I have told you uh, 
uh, in previous videos as well that this is not mandatory to use it as i only i can also take it j or k let's say i take j this time and then i print here j this will also give me same result i can also take let's say i will take var here and i will then here print var so this doesn't change my results right so you can use anything so i'll change it again to i because i is most widely used all around the world now how this loop is working so for i in phi it means that in phi it will start from uh, so for i in phi it starts the first value that is i i is 0.2 and then it will print print i that is 0.2 now it will go again to for loop now i becomes 0.3 and then hence it is printing 0.3 now i becomes 0.25 and then it is printing 0.25 so similarly it will go till my list ends so this is how a for loop can be uh, worked in the inside the list okay so uh, we have seen how loops work inside list now let's see uh, how we can create a list which uh, which contains multiple list for example i have um, in in i have a reservoir info of three reservoirs and in each reservoir each reservoir i have three data sets porosity as it average porosity permeability and their base on height but i want to create a list of all the reservoirs in a single list so what i can do is let's say my reservoir 1 have the info of 0.2 porosity 25 milli darcy and 40 page on height and reservoir 2 have my data 0.15 porosity 30 milli darcy and 55 page on height now if i say reservoir 3 then it my list becomes let's say 0 0.30 porosity is there 35 milli darcy is my permeability and 60 is my page on height i can also do what i can do is now if i come i want to com combine all the info in one list so i'll just create a variable name info which is now which is currently empty list what i can do is i'll just take this list add this list inside then and then after comma i'll add this second list now i add the third list of reservoir 3 so now i have all the data of three reservoirs in a single list when just remember that this is now this whole list will be considered as a single element for a list info so if i check the length of info let's say if i if i check the length of info it will give me three that is first one this list second is this list and third is this list so in this scenario i have three lists inside a single list and each list is considered to be a single element great now let's see how to do indexing of these lists so you i have told you how we can assess the elements in list uh, for example uh, if i have a list abc and it contains 1 2 5 and 7 what i do is i if i want to access 1 then i'll simply write abc and uh, square bracket and 0 because 1 is at the zeroth index and it will give me the value of 1 similarly if i want to access 5 it is at the 0th index so i'll change sorry it will at the second index i'll change it to 2 and it will give me 5 so in similar way now what i have now what i have is info I'll, this one now if i want let's say i do info and i go for 0 means i am accessing the 0th index of my list info let's see what it gives me so it will give me this whole element whole first element that is this whole list that is the, which is which contains these values so if i go for one now it will give me the second value so in this scenario my second value is this whole list right now what i want is now what i want i just want to uh, access this element separately I just want the value of 25 to get printed so let's see how we can do that but now 25 is in the in this list right in in the first list it means in it 25 is in that list which is at zeroth index so first i'll have to that first list so i'll write zero 
and now now this will give me the first and uh, first list inside what we have want to check is we have we want to access 25 and 25 in this list if i now now look at this list separately in this list uh, what is the index position of 25 it is one right so here i'll add one this time say now if i go for this so you can see we are getting 25 now for practice once again let's see let's say i want to access this uh, value of 60 so first i will have to access the list which contains 60 right so what i'll do is info and i'll have to access that list first so my that list is at index 2 and in that list my 60 is at index again 2 so this will give me 60 great now we have seen this example of list inside list now we can see also that how we can uh, how we can do looping inside this multiple list so i'll just copy this again my list here so that it will be in front of your eyes now for example i run a for loop here for i in info and i print i let's see the results what it, what it is giving me so this is what it's giving me so what what basically it is doing now for i in info so means i when i starts from this whole element because this is a single element so now for the first scenario i is this so it will print me a whole list here first list and then i becomes the second element second element is nothing but this list so it is printing down here and afterwards the my last element becomes this so i becomes this and then it will print me i here so this is how a looping works inside list inside list again i can print anything here it, 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 it need not to be only i now i have a problem that sir when i'm running a loop inside this list what i'm getting is it is printing me three list what i want is it prints me the separate value as in the case of here it was it was printing me separate values so for that what i can do is i'll have to i'll have to uh, run two loops now now this loops give me this result right now let me copy this again this loop me this will give me the same result right now what i do for j in i i'll have run second loop j now see if i get the desired results see i am getting the desired result if you if you haven't understand it uh, till now i'll explain you now what this loop will give me what this loop will give me this loop will give me these values so i'll write it down here this one and then this one and then this one great now what i want to do is i want to access separate so i have run a, a loop inside a loop so now this for j in i now i'm running a loop in i i have these values of i right these are nothing but values of i in this loop values of i these are my values of i now i'll run the looping in j now if i run so in this so for every i i am running loop so for if if this list if this is my single list now if i run loop inside this so how it will go it will go for point 0.2 then point sorry 25 and then 40 great so i now i i has uh, uh, exhausted now i becomes this so in this i again i am running a loop with j so my j values becomes 0 0.5 0 0.15 0 0.30 55 so this is how this double loop is working just pause this video just watch it again just try your own mind you will i'm, I'm sure you will definitely understand if you haven't understand it at first time great now one more thing i want to add in this video is that uh, we can also generate a list with range functions for example we know that uh, range 1 to 100 will give me the values up to 1 to 99 100 is not included here right so what if i want to create a list of 1 to 99 numbers so one way to do is that 
I'll I'll make list. Let's say my uh, ABC AB is my variable name, and I have to create list manually. One, two, three, four, and go up to up to ninety nine, which is a very long method, right? So instead of that, what I can do is I can simply use range function. What I do is AB equals to range one to hundred. One to hundred, so it will give me one to ninety nine. Simply just uh, write this range inside the list and inside the list of parentheses like that. I'll write it again if you're confused. Means you just write. This is a way of converting anything to list inside this list. You in this inside this parentheses just write your range function. Range function one to hundred. Now if I go and print my a b. You see, I have a list. So this is a lot more easier method. It is going up to ninety-nine. This is a lot uh, easier method uh, by manually writing all the values. So uh, let's say one. Let's do one more thing. Create a list of even numbers starting from zero till twelve. So what I can do is, let's say my list name is even, and inside a list, I have to use range function. So my what I want to do, uh, what I want to achieve is starting from. Let's say starting from two to twelve. I do. So I want to create a list of even numbers starting from two and ending at twelve. So what I can do is range starting from two, and I'll have to end at fourteen this time, and with a step size of two. So what happens is that after two it will go to four because step size is two, then six, then uh, eight, and similarly it will go to twelve. But as soon as it will try to go fourteen, so fourteen is not included because stop argument in range function never gets included. So it will give me the list of even numbers, required even numbers. If I print this even, it will print me two, four, six, or ten, twelve. So uh, this is uh, much about this video. In next video, uh, what we'll see is uh, passing list inside a function. How can we pass list inside a function? And we'll see also few more examples. So stay tuned, and I'll see you in next lecture. Thank you for joining.